Blossom IDD is an organization that was started by my wife and I and a young lady named Sam Bear. When we started it, we started it because of our daughter who has IDD and we we're looking for resources to help her live a fulfilled life after school. IDD really envelops neurological, it's cognitive, it's mobility wise, it's all of the above, which is why it's important to us to utilize that term, IDD. The typical Blossom IDD consumer is someone who identifies as having an intellectual and developmental disability, but oftentimes it's an individual who falls through the cracks, who um, is independent enough where they could live on their own, have their own apartment, um, but also still struggles with barriers like money management. 75. Okay, can you show me a five cents? Which one is five cents? Okay. And our social engagement. And so we try to create that space where we can support all of those needs for those individuals. It's all about living independently. We want our young adults to live independently. <laughs> oh, perfect. Look at you used up all of your paint. Every individual thrives not only on family relationships, but their own external personal relationships. So that's what Blossom is trying to support. It can go into the breakdown of the strategic plan document. That I've been able to have a beautiful board that supports me and really allows me to connect my passions. I think that everybody brings a different dynamic to the board from their experiences and their passion in working with individuals with disabilities. And it's been great as we sit and plan and look at the activities and the different creativity that we can offer individuals. I always think there's power in, in a group, there's power in community, there's power in a whole rather than an individual, and that's what we're trying to create so that way we can make a difference. So that when one person with a disability doesn't feel isolated, one family doesn't feel like they don't know what to do, that no one is going through the same thing they're going through, that we are creating that community and connecting them either to A, resources, B, their own community that can be accessible, C, opportunities. The Mercantile is a store that has various products created by individuals with disabilities. There's so many cool items and things in the Mercantile. I tell people all the time, when you come to Cedarburg, make sure you stop there because there's a little bit for everybody. Katie, do you love life? I do. I want every person to be able to have that light bulb where it's like, I wouldn't have had this opportunity or wow, what a great experience because this organization put the time and effort into planning that and making it happen. That's important to me. The best way to get a hold of us is by going to our website. It's www.blossomidd.com. It has all of the information there to get a hold of us.